Hello, 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 and welcome to Jamie Orr's Facebook page. My name's Jamie Orr, and I'm going to be your host here as I go live, and um, I share with you, I share with you today exactly what you need to be doing right now, okay? Right now, today, if you actually do this, the five simple steps to get your business to be the go-to business in your local market. How many of you on here right now that are joining me would love to be the go-to business in your local market? Huh? Type it in the chat box there. Give me a quick 777 that you would love to be one of the, the, the go-to in your local market. Carla Wilkes Rose, what's going on? Carla, would you like to be the go-to business in your local market? I'm going to share with you guys exactly how right now. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. You're hearing all the clicks and the clacks and the cloaks. What's up, Gina? How are you? Neville, what's going on? Glad to have you on here. I would love to be the go-to, right? We all would, guys. So what do we need to do to be the go-to in our local market, right? I want to know. I, I, I want to know just as much as you do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you in my journey as an entrepreneur uh, and coaching people around the world, thousands of people around the world now, um, the simple little things that you can do. There's five of them, okay? Now... These things, what they'll do is they'll make you become, you know, top of mind aware, you know, where you're, you're first to come to mind whenever uh, somebody starts thinking about dentist in the local market or uh, apparel, they need apparel in the local market, right? Carla, Carla does apparel. Um, so they might need some, some apparel work done. How do you become that go-to person that's first to, first to mind uh, whenever they start thinking about this? Well, the first thing you need to do, and, and I know this has been the tough one, for a long time now for a lot of us, but I need everybody to start shifting their mind again because it's happening. You need to attend the local events, performances, fundraisers, different things that are going on in the local market, especially right now that it's all beginning to start to happen again, right? You gotta get out there. And it doesn't just have to be like business events. What about the high school drama club? Many of you know that my daughter, um, she was just accepted into the largest Christian university in the world to go to their, uh, there's 12, 12 kids around the world that were chosen to go to their, their special drama club thing uh, at this university. My daughter's one of them, right? Am I going to be involved in that? Absolutely, I'm going to be involved as much as I can. Okay, not just for the mindset of, and that's, that's a key ingredient I want everybody to understand here. Don't get involved with these five things. Don't do these five things looking at it from a dollar perspective. Don't look at all this as, oh, how am I going to make money with this? No, 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 no. You always have to default back to what I teach you guys about serve, care, and inspire. You want to go at this with a servant heart. So I'm going to go and help out with my daughter's high school drama and as, as much as I can with a servant heart. If anything happens because I'm out there serving, that's bonus. But it's not going to happen at all if I don't go and attend the local events, performances, and fundraisers, okay? Even just go see the play. How about pr promoting the performance on social media? Just talking about it. Hey, look at this performance that's happening at the high school or the elementary school or whatever. Is there um, coming up, you got, um, what do we have? We have uh, Halloween coming up, Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas coming up, New Year's coming up. Over the next, what, we were August, September, October, November, December. Over the next four months, you have many opportunities for different holidays for you to actually be involved. Think about them. What's going on for Halloween in your local market? How can you get involved? Could you sponsor, be a sponsor at a local church that does one of those trunk or treats, right? Um, how about, uh, you know, during Thanksgiving, you know, the food drives or whatever. You know, be a part of the food drives. Be there with your family. Okay, go live. How about whenever the uh, fire station's doing some sort of uh, uh, chili thing or whatever, or Brunswick stew, go there, support them, help them pour the Brunswick stew in and go live while you're there. You see what I'm saying? You help, you be a part of, you serve, care, and you inspire. Okay, help these people. Go out there and serve your community by being involved in the local events, performances, and fundraisers and watch how much your business grows because of it. All because you're focused on the right stuff, being out there serving, caring, inspiring. Now this one's, this one's interesting, number two, because um, it's tough for a lot of people right now. And how do we find these local events in our market? That's a great question, Stephen. 
So Steven's asking about, you know, finding these events. Now, what I would do is first and foremost, um, I would do it on Facebook. I would type in events in Lynchburg, Virginia. Okay. Check that out and see what all events are. Cause a lot of people use the events and you're unaware um, of those events because you might not be friends with the people that are putting it on. So you're not getting notified. That's where I would start. Then there's a lot of um, local sites that you could turn to. For example, your local TV station probably has an events page. Your local newspaper probably has an events page. And then there's probably some smart, savvy entrepreneur out there that has a directory site that does that as well, that keeps people um, on notice about the events. So those are three or four of the things that I would turn to initially. And then you expand your reach from there by contacting the Chamber of Commerce or the B&I groups or anything like that to see what type of things would be going on. Um, another great place to go would be, um, what are those places when you first get to a town? The visitor center. You know how they have the little visitor center you go to and, and ask questions of what's going on around town and the events and festivals like that. That would be where I would start. Okay. Now, number, number two is hire local and buy local. I'm going to start with the buy local first because that's a no brainer. Go and shop with the mom and pops in your local area. But don't just shop there. Engage, become friends, serve, care, inspire. See how you can help them without ever looking at a monetary gain to your business. How can you serve that local mom and pop? How can you get to know them? How can you get to know the story behind how they got involved in this business? How long it's been in the family business? Get involved with those local businesses, but don't just shop there. Like most people say, oh, shop local, buy local. No, go engage local. Get to make friends local. Be a part of the community with those local businesses. That's key. Now, hiring local, that's a tough one right now because a lot of people, you're so welcome, Stephen. Absolutely, man. Um, so many people are having a tough time hiring, okay? Now, you want to focus on hiring local, okay? Completely. I want to I want to do a side caveat to the word hiring. I have many businesses that I run and I have some local businesses as well. And I never, I never go around hiring people. Just don't do it. You know what I do? I recruit. Everybody's hiring right now. How many people are recruiting? Okay, when you shift the wording and how you do things, you're going to attract people that understand that, you know what? My value, I can bring value to that business. They're trying to recruit me. Yeah, prime example. Yesterday, my wife and I, we went and um, engaged local. Absolutely. Um, we went to one of our favorite establishments. And the person in the speaker was just awesome. And that's unusual at this place. They're, they're normally just good. They're, okay, that was nice. It was a good encounter. But this dude was exceptional. And I get up to the window and I'm like, man, how long have you been working here, man? And he's like, he's like, uh, three months. I'm like, wow, that, that's awesome. You did a really good job. He's like, yeah, I'm helping put myself through college right now. I'm going to become a, a welder. I'm like, that's awesome, dude. My dad, he used to do welding with his heavy equipment business. That welding stuff, I tried it a couple of times. It's kind of hard and everything. And he's like, yeah, and, you know, I'll be graduating and all this good stuff. Gave my money, all this good stuff. Ended up giving him a good tip. And, and I said, here's a little bit more. Make sure this doesn't go in the bucket. This goes to you. And I said, man, you're doing a really good job. I mentioned the owner's name. I said, I know the owner, such and such. Uh, I'm not trying to cross anything here, but listen, if you're looking for more hours um, outside of you know what you do to pay for college or whatever, hit me up. Just go to my Facebook page. Let me know you're the type of person I'm looking for for my businesses. I recruit. I don't hire. Okay. Think of that if you're in business, okay. Find the people that you want, but do it local. Get those local people there. All right. Number three, be a featured sponsor. Now we see this all over the place. We see it everywhere. You go to the, 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 the baseball games, the little t-ball games and the little league games, right? And you see the wall of billboards. Everybody type in wall in, in the comments here. If you know what I'm talking about, you see the wall of billboards of all those businesses, right? How much does that cost to do that? How often are you seen? All the time. 
all the time. It's a very minimal cost to get involved in a year long process of you being a part of that wall. But let me take it a step further, guys, okay? Because, and, and please, I know some of you are businesses that may get offended right now, but don't be a shotgun marketer. Ah, oh, yeah, somebody walks in and says, hey, put your, put your name on our billboard on the Little League fence. Okay, yeah, I need to do that. Hey, put your name in our magazine. We go to 10,000 people. And you literally know 1,500 people pick that up to 10,000. The other 9,500 are thrown away somewhere. The numbers might be skewed a little, but you get my point. How many of those 10,000 are actually being seen, right? You get my point there. So you need to be proactive with this stuff. Do stuff that everybody else that's on those billboards, trust me, it's worth it to be on there. It's worth it to be on the t-shirts that the kids are wearing, you know, that you sponsor the whole team. It's so worth it, guys. But let's take it a step further. How can you be involved more? Well, volunteer at the concession stand. Have your whole team volunteer at the concession stand, right? How about taking pictures of you and all your staff at the billboard sign? So whenever it's another game for your team, you post it out on social media. Hey guys, the team is playing tonight. It's going to be fantastic. It's out at the uh, Forest Little League rec police. Who else is who else's kid plays tonight? Come see my team at the concession stand. We'd love to say hi. You get it? You're not just a sign on the wall now. You're a part of the buzz that's happening around there. Do you get that? It's value, guys. You as a business need to do more than the next guy to stand out, to be that go-to person that they come into, uh, into mind, right? Are you following me? Type in good stuff in the chat box there if you're, you're catching on here. Now, this one here is a no-brainer, but I want to be very clear here. And those of you that run chamber of commerces or own a chamber of commerce or whatever, please don't get offended. I just got to shoot straight. Join the local chamber of commerce if and only if you're gonna be an active member of that Chamber of Commerce. If you just got the renewal bill and you're like, hey, Sally, Sally, will you pay this bill real quick so I can stop getting a call from the Chamber people? If you're that person, don't send in a check. You don't need it. Put that in the Facebook ads. Contact me, I'll show you how to use that money. It's a waste of money to invest in these groups if you're not going to be active in the groups, if you're not going to be a part of the things that they do, why join it? But if you are and you're going to be engaged, you're going to be active and you're going to go in there with a servant heart, you're going to go in there with caring for people and inspiring them, serve, care, inspire. You hear the, the, the common theme going on here? If you do that in any of these type of groups, Chamber of Commerce, BNIs, any type of group like that, you will literally, literally, grow your business exponentially very quick, okay? What about other local uh, or associations? Any type of association that you join, if, you are, if you're joining to join for the prestige of joining and that's where your business is at and you're just cool with that, that's fine. But if you're in the, I wanna grow my company mode, I wanna grow, I wanna be the go-to business in my local market, you need to engage in any association that you join in be a part of everything that you can be a part of in that group, in that organization, that association. If you don't, it's a waste of money, in my opinion, okay? Because you can take that, that $500 or whatever it is and you can put it into Facebook ads at five bucks a day and get more exposure and know exactly what's going on um, and generate more business in a quicker period of time. I'm not here to sell you on Facebook ads right now, but there's so much more you could do with it than just throwing it there just because you want to save face at the next time you see somebody at Chick-fil-A. There's the chamber commerce person. I don't want them to see me. I didn't pay my bill this year. Like, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> okay, now let's get down to number five. All right, number five. This one is probably my favorite. And those of you that know me know that I love doing this type of stuff. Uh, it's one of the things that literally will change the game completely uh, for your business. Give away products and services from other businesses. Not just your own. We're always giving away our stuff, right? What about all the businesses you can help? What about that brand new mom and pop business that we talked about earlier, right? Remember we talked about the um, hire local, buy local, and number two? All right, 
What if you take and you just meet these people in their local hardware store, right? And they're dealing with Lowe's and Home Depot and all this good stuff. Why don't you say to that guy, hey, why don't I, I want to buy a $10 gift card. If you give me another $10 gift card and I want to give that away to my, my social media fan base as a way to let them know that I met you guys. Let's take a picture real quick, take a selfie with them and then post that out there. Hey, who knows Bob and Sally's hardware here in town? I'm giving away $20 gift cards. All you have to do is tell me uh, that you know Bob and Sally. If you don't know Bob and Sally, tell me you want to meet them. And then people, I know Bob and Sally. I met them in 1972. And I know Bob and Sally. I don't know them. Where are they located? What did you just do? You just generated them new business by you doing that. Do you see how powerful that is, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, these five things will change your business completely. If you want to dominate in your local market and stand out from everybody else, these things are common. We already, we all know this in business. I'm not giving you any new gold. Like we know to do these things. What I'm trying to do is show you how to become the go-to person. You got to take, and instead of just being like everybody else, take it up a notch, but with the philosophy of serve care, inspire. Thank you so much for joining me on today's live stream. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned. I got more goodies coming for you guys. If you like this type of content, give me a, I like this content in the comment area and I'll keep providing more and more value to you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic week and you guys take care.